Hi everyone, welcome to day 21 of my 30 days SQL challenge series where I solve data analyst and business analyst interview question for SQL. Today we'll be solving one question that was asked in booking.com data analyst interview question. So let's see the question first. Find the top performing two months by revenue for each hotel for each year. Return hotel ID, year, month and revenue. So let's see the table first. So in the table we have hotel ID, month name, year and the revenue. So let's go ahead and write the things that we need. So we need to find the hotel ID and the, their revenue for the month where they have basically done the higher revenue than the other month for each year. So basically we need to find hotel ID which is going to be hotel ID. Then we need to find year. Then we need to find month number and that month revenue. And after that basically what we can do we can basically give a ranking on this based on this revenue for each month and we can filter the top two months so we can give ranking based on revenue filter top two month for each hotel in each year right so this is what we need so filter top two month for each hotel in each year based on the revenue so this is what we need so let's go ahead and start writing our query so we need to find hotel ID hotel ID which is the first column then other than that we will be needing the year which is our second column then we will be needing month which is our third column and the revenue right which is going to be our fourth column now uh, to solve this right so to solve this we need to use uh, window functions because what we want basically we want to give ranking for each month based on the revenue in uh, this basically kind of you know table that we are creating which is hotel id year month and revenue so before ranking if i just show you like how it's going to be like let me just go ahead and show you so now you can see that for hotel which is 101 we have the year number and we have the month name and we have the revenue so what we want based on this revenue we want to give a ranking in a new column so we'll be using a window functions if you do not know window functions you can just comment it down i'll make another video to explain like how window functions works so we'll be creating one window functions here and i'm going to use dense rank dense rank and i'll be using over partitions by and i'll do partitions by first hotel id hotel id and then i'll be doing partitions by year because i want to basically see first for each hotel and for each year revenue based on the uh, you know month based on the revenue so what i have done basically i've selected dense rank over partitions by hotel id and year and then i will do order by basically to basically sort the data under you know each hotel and under each year by this revenue right so i'll do revenue in descending order because i want to sort the data in descending order and i'll just name it as drn dense rank now if i just go ahead and run it let me just show you now you can see for each hotel we have the hotel id and the year and the month name now for that month we have the revenue so whatever month has highest revenue that has got the first ranking and the second highest revenue has got the th second ranking accordingly the third and fourth ranking now if you see this is for hotel 101 for like 2022 now if you see like the hotel uh you know another hotel like 102 you can see for 2023 it has march which is the highest you know revenue that is 16,000, and in february it got 14,000. And in Jan it got like 12,000. So basically this ranking that I am giving that is based on basically one hotel ID and then second the best on the each year. So for example if the data if the hotel has in revenue in two years so I have like two ranking for the same hotel. So I'll just show you for example this one you can see this 101 hotel right it has how many records like it has these are the records it has it has like eight I guess it has seventh record that is from 2022 and for the seventh record it is getting the rank which is like one two three 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 because they are having same revenue so they are getting same rank now this hotel 
now the hotel id is same but the year has changed which is from 2022 to 2023 so in 2023 again i am giving one more new rank best because the year has changed so now rank is like one two three right so now we are moving to the basically year 2023 now you can see their ranking so these are the ranking for 2023 now we have the 102 hotel id and their ranking so this is how it works now we can just go ahead and you know use a filter basically to just see that what we need uh we just need to make sure that we are filtering only two of this you know row for each uh, you know hotel for each year so that's how we can basically solve our question right so i can go ahead and like uh, go ahead and use the where conditions but to do a where conditions we need to use a sub query or ct so i'm going to use a ct this time so so city means common table expressions if you do not know city just comment down i'll make a video very soon to explain how city works so i'll just name it as city one and i'll give it s as per the syntax then i'll just keep close this brackets here and i don't need this now and i'll just reorganize the query so now basically in this city i'm just calling this table as cte and uh, now i'll be selecting what are the things i need right as per the questions so i need first the hotel id as per the questions i need hotel id then i need which is the month year month and revenue these are the three things that i need right so let's go ahead and shift it a little ahead now i need all these things from this city the table that i have created that's the name is cte1 and i can use a where functions to say that where this dense rank is less than equals to 2 that's how we will be able to short like you know the top two basically you know month name based on the revenue so i'll say less than equals to 2 and the column name is drn so if i just go ahead and run it i should basically give us the results that we need oops there's a mistake let me just check hotel id does not exist so this is the hotel id let's go ahead and do it again column hotel id does not exist so let me just debug it again let's see where we are doing mistakes so we have hotel id this one this looks fine so I'll just name it as like hotel okay and this so I'm just changing the name let's see if this works okay I missed a comma here so let me just go ahead and run it so i want hotel ids i want year i want month then i want revenue from okay i missed a from here so the mistake was i missed a from here from the table cte so i don't need to change it i'll just keep it as just remove it now so i'll just say id now if i just go ahead and run it, it should basically give us the result that we need so now we can see that we have the hotel id like this one which is 101 and the year which is 2022 and then for 2022 the month where this hotel performed like you know i mean collected the highest revenue so now in august you can see this hotel has collected 28000 and this hotel has collected in july which is 26000 so only we have filtered two highest revenue month from the year of 2022 now from the year of 2023 we have again got another two months where the revenue were highest now for example march we have highest revenue which is 21,075 and then for february we have 19,000 which is the revenue for the same hotel in 2023 now same way we have the hotel id which is 102 and for the 102 in the month of like 2022 we have march and february with the highest revenue and 102 in 2023 we have again march and february with the highest revenue so this is basically you can solve this kind of problem by simply using window functions dense rank 
so if you want to learn more about window function tensor ring please leave a comment so i'll make a video very soon to explain how this function works that's it for this video thank you so much for watching the video till the end if you really like my content do subscribe to my youtube channel so at the end of this video description i'm going to add a link to this schema and database so that you can download and practice the same questions have a good day